what's up youtube in the last video i have shown you how uh, we can select the image using the select button uh, and i have also shown you uh, how uh, the size of the uh, image that we have selected is reduced before it is uploaded in the database and in this tutorial uh, we are going to code for the uh, save button which will save the buffered image compressed buffered image i must say to the database so just go ahead and uh, right click the uh, save button go to events action and action performed so this is the block of code i have named the button as save uh, command underscore save so just fastly create a try and catch block exception e and the block for exception i just and then uh, we have to code for the try catch block create a string and name it as sql in the bracket time the uh, type the sql query to insert that is insert into the name of the table and the name of the table is images and the name of the row column is image so insert into images image values we don't know values just uh, question mark and terminate with a semicolon okay then what you have to type is type pst is equal to connections object name con dot prepare statement which takes the sql query as argument and a semicolon then type in here pst dot set bytes because uh, we are dealing with uh, because we are dealing with a uh, binary data type so you have to type in here psd dot set bytes it has uh, defaultly taken the um, name of the by um, byte array that we have stored the image here byte array uh, sorry for that and uh, here you have to type in one because one is the number of the column in which we have to save the image by default this is 0 row id and this is 1 so it will take as set bytes 1 dot person name and then finally you have to type in here pst dot execute simply execute so our image is the image will be saved in the image column then you can type in here j option pane if you want to i'll do that it is here good practice so you know where you are going message dialog null comma the image is saved okay just terminate with a semicolon and then in the catch catch block what you have to do is copy and paste the j option pane copy it and paste it here and if it cat catches any exception you will say uh, invalid image okay and now uh, what you have to do is you have to type finally and um, block of code and in this you have will create another try and catch block e x c p t i o n e here you will be uh, committing the changes in the database so just call the result set object and close it and same for the prepare statement call it close it okay there's something misprinted so this will make the changes and the catch block uh, if you want not necessary but you can print the stack print stack okay finally the the changes are these are the changes just go ahead and run the program here it is uh, select an image i'll select my favorite image that is water lilies and i'll just click ok and it has read the data and this is not the binary image data it is the object data uh, so what we'll do is we'll just save it it says the image is saved and uh, 
will go to the database refresh it and it says uh, the image it shows the image here in a block format and the size is 83794 that is almost 84 kbs now we'll go ahead and we'll make the changes here in the source code since we are we have used here the uh, the object uh, from the file input stream and not the buffered image so we'll replace it with the object of the uh, binary array input stream and we'll comment the line of the file input stream because this is reading the object and this is reading the binary image or oh sorry buffered image uh, and we'll just go ahead and run the program again uh, here it is the another instance uh, I'll select the same image uh, water lilies and I'll just open it uh, so this is the small sized image the resized image and uh, now we'll save it it says the image is saved we'll go back to the database and we'll refresh it and here you can see that the second image shows a size of 6396 so this is 6 kb image and this is 83 kb image so you can see the difference we have reduced the we have compressed the image we have reduced the size of the image and we have reduced the resolution of the image in the next tutorial we'll be retrieving these images and we'll see how they fits in the label so thanks for watching stay tuned keep coding have a nice day